Hey guys, welcome to the liberal hive mind. These people just don't get it, huh? These phony politicians, these rich men and rich women north of Richmond simply don't get it. You know, the perfect word that's thrown around is tone deaf. These elitist ruling class people in their ivory tower lecturing us on ethics and respect and dignity. They're so full of it, it's not even funny. And you know, it really couldn't come from the worst kind of person. I mean, give me a break. A politician, really? It's like a lawyer lecturing you on the importance of telling the truth. Politicians are the last people who should be lecturing anybody on decency and ethics. I'd be more comfortable taking a lecture on that topic from a convicted felon than Hillary Clinton or Nancy Pelosi. And of course, those two names are relevant to this story. Remember Hillary Clinton's little grievance campaign? A four-year-long grievance campaign. I mean, technically it's still going on, so you could call it seven, where Hillary Clinton lectured you on just how much of a bad boy or bad girl you were for voting for that evil tyrant Donald Trump. And of course, the infamous deplorable moment. Well, that deplorables moment might have been one of the key catalysts that caused Hillary Hillary Clinton to get absolutely smoked in the 2016 election. Well, of course, if you think that Democrats learned a lesson to not be so snobbish, elitist, and out of touch, think again. Like usual, they've learned nothing. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. Nancy Pelosi, of course, the main character. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so the title of this video is titled, Nancy Pelosi Degrades Millions of Americans. It's interesting to see how there is a certain element of the population who will just go for him. There are people we would probably never get. They don't share our values in terms of respect for the dignity and worth of every person and the rest. Of course, she's speaking about Trump supporters. They're people that we would probably never get. Therefore, they're irrelevant. You know, and Donald Trump said this during the Tucker interview last week. I feel like he meant it. You have great people in the Democrat party. You have great people that are Democrats. Most yeah. of the people in our country are fantastic. And I'm representing everybody. I'm not just Republicans or conservatives. Right. I represent everybody. I'm the president of everybody. You know, if you think about it, Donald Trump's policies weren't catered to particular groups. Maybe the platinum plan for black America was something that he did during an election season. And of course, that was perceived to a certain extent as pandering. But for the most part, Donald Trump's policy platform was low taxes, get America running, keep America safe, keep America out of foreign wars and secure the border. Pretty much that's messaging that targets everyone. Even though it seems divisive in today's political world, weird times that we live in, that's a message for everyone, not just Republicans. The Democrats don't view the electoral landscape in the same way. They want to appeal to snobby, elitist city slickers and pretty much give a massive middle finger to the rest of them. Yeah, you know those deplorables with their pickup trucks and American flags? Yeah, not our demographic. We'll leave those people to Trump. And of course, you see it in their actions, you see it in their policy. Sleepy, creepy, piss pants Biden has yet yet to visit East Palestine, Ohio. Is it in discussion that the president may go there in the near future? I just don't have anything to share. I know I know there's a lot of interest uh, on that. Some, has it been something that's even under consideration? I mean, I think what folks should understand and what folks should, I think, feel at ease is that the president has taken this very seriously. Does it simply not meet the bar for a presidential visit? Look, I don't, I, I, I want to be very clear here. Um, there's no reason to struggle. I've spoken with every official in Ohio, and I will be on the Is there a plan for him to go? I don't have a, any uh, trips to preview for you at this time. He's been to Ohio many times before during his administration, so it's not a, an it's not unusual for him to to go there. Are there any plans for President Biden to visit East Palestine? I, I don't have anything to share on a planned visit for the president to uh, to Ohio. Nancy Pelosi lectured us specifically. They don't share our values in terms of respect for the dignity and worth of every person and the rest. Republicans don't respect the dignity of every person, she says. Coming from the political wicked witch of the West, who literally just said a good portion of the country is basically beyond help and doesn't deserve respect or dignity because they aren't her political demographic. And her, of course, being pretty much best friends with Hillary Clinton, who thinks you're a bunch of deplorables, and Joe Biden, who thinks you're ultra-maga right-wing extremists, and he'd rather get cozy and sit in the sun, taking 40% of his days off, being on near-constant vacation, spending over 40% of his time as president, on vacation, riding his bike or chilling on the beach, 
You know, this, this is Joe Biden on the average day. He's being described as a slacker in chief. Meanwhile, Palestine, Ohio is a disaster. Maui's on fire and people are losing literally everything as Oprah buys up the land. Many major, especially Democrat cities are turning into freaking zombie wastelands. And you know, just your average middle class American happens to be going bankrupt and can't afford to buy a new home or is going to lose their home. All of those concerns, eh, not a big deal. Maybe another problem for another day. Joe Biden's on the beach. You know, it's absolutely astonishing to me that these Democrat politicians don't have more of a public image problem. You know, if it wasn't for the media, they'd be freaking toast. The lack of care, lack of compassion, the ability to look another way as Americans are dying, as Nancy Pelosi said it, showing no respect for the dignity of these people. It's crazy how they get away with it. You know, Joe Biden was literally looking at his watch as 13 fallen U.S. service members were being memorialized during a casket ceremony. And to make matters worse, they lost their lives because of his poor planning and poor foreign policy execution. He looked at his watch. Sergeant uh, Nicole G, who was the, one of the two female Marines who were killed among the 13, she was the one who posted that Instagram post holding the baby saying, I love my job just a few days ago. And then Democrats are going to lecture us on respecting people and giving them dignity. Yeah, give me a break. These slimy politicians are simply masters of deception. Oh, we care so much. You don't care at all. You cared for black people when George Floyd died because you knew that you could use it in an election season. Where are you on inner city issues over the last three years since that incident? I know the founders of BLM did great, and I know Act Blue donations were probably breaking records. But where are the results? Where's the actual care? Where's the everyday presence in those communities? It's not there. I know you people love to virtue signal about migrants, but of course these Democrats turn a blind eye to the legal immigrants who are getting shafted in this broken system, or to the millions of people who are being seduced by false promises of amnesty, only to get shafted and deported after going in debt to pay coyotes or spending their life savings on a clearly hopeless endeavor of entering the United States, where's your compassion and respect and affirmation of those people's dignity? Doesn't exist. Democrats simply use lives, use sensitive topics for their own benefit. They pretend to be good people, and I'm sure they believe it when they're schmoozing at fancy freaking $10,000 plate galas. Oh, the poor people. I love poor people. As you sip on your Chardonnay. But when it really matters, when push comes to shove these people are nowhere. Nowhere to be found. Missing in action. And apparently anybody who thinks this way, anybody who sees the reality for what it is and would never vote for them, well, apparently you're just a lost soul. You're not politically worthy of even lifting a finger for, says Nancy Pelosi. Holy moly. These people are awful. The rich men and rich women north of Richmond. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. You know that we'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.